there's something going on. But you don't know what it is, do you, Mr. Jones? Welcome to the Bardo Times, a narrative poem in 12 parts. Part 8, Pop Spirit. Meow. Cute cats and simulated desires. In the Bardo Times, the human spirit is treated like the radio-friendly three-minute pop song. It's a digestible burst that we can chew on without it giving us digestion. We are told that we create our own reality while sociopaths are in power. If this is creating our own reality, then many of us must be secretly longing for therapy. Aspects of our soul nature have become commoditized and watered down. We yearn only for the quick fix, the morning shot of feel-good wisdom, packaged with a pleasing image. Colourful figures in lotus positions, with flowers blossoming from their third eye, adorn our virtual walls and our desktops. The countless videos of cute cats, colourful chakras. The spirit is exposed as a short-cut short cut trip to enlightenment. We call out to the universe and order what we want. Cosmic ordering with Amazon-style delivery. Experts in the quantum field, life coaching, a talisman here, a crystal there cute cats yeah. and simulated desires. In popular spirituality, today's pop spirit, has become its own marketplace in the modern world. An easy on-demand lifestyle is making us lazy. Having 100,000 subscribers is a good sign of the soul. Spreading the Holy Spirit means clicking on the like button. Pop spirit may make us feel better, but will it last until lunchtime? Pop spirit now comes with a joyful psychology. I can count on others. I feel autonomous. I learned something new today. And I did what I do best. Do we learn to fail? or fail to learn. We're trained to find our own authentic happiness. The opposite of non-authentic happiness? It's the conditioning of a superficial self-esteem, the celebration of another consumer curiosity. Cute cats. Meow and simulated desires. Modern life is attempting to seduce us, digitizing our longing, the new sensual voyeurs. 
We are entering saturation point of the sexually explicit, the pornography of despair. Young kids are getting turned on for music videos. Porn stars are celebrities and presidents are paying thousands. A moral bankruptcy shapes our popular culture. Sex sells better than bearded gurus and crystals and leaked, sept and leaked sex tapes make us famous. Fame is now an odd kind of fetishism. Hashtag and viral streaming. Desires can be downloaded for instant gratification. A simulated semiotic fluid that greases the cogs of digitized desire. Goodbye Barbie. Hello sex with robots. We'll have to throw away all those hidden doll inflatables. It's... No longer about sexual repression, but sexual depression. We've created a real wound of longing that a hyper-real world is incapable of healing. Cute cats and simulated desires. Meow.